sophomore from Walnut Creek, California. Of their seven starters for the end eaters, just two underclassmen, including our server. Sebastian Laura gets off his first swing at a season-high 34 swings a match ago, along with his career-high 15 kills and a four-set win against Charleston. Will Darcy with the put down, just his seventh match of the season, had injury issues. Kirsten in the first month of the season in January, the sophomore from Australia. Yeah, I'm thinking that the stats are wrong here. It says he's six feet. Is that right? Six feet, yes, it is. I think he's 6'10. Okay. Which would happen to be tied for the tallest guy on the yeah. team. Yeah, I think they missed a one in there. <laughs> <laughs> Missed a chance to put up some stiff resistance against Anthony Scherfan, the only Triton coming into tonight who has more than 100 kills on the season. Yep, I like seeing this. Scherfan going for the meat of the court. Nice hard middle swing. The jump float from Laura, and now Brett Sheward goes to that lefty, and a good pickup by Gabe Dyer. That's Scherfan! Got denied as the two-person block sent it right back, <laughs> and he got a full. Yeah, he couldn't get out of the way of that one, and his, uh, I think it got his hair. <laughs> I think he got his hair. He got a full taste uh, of that block coming right back at him. Here's Brett Schuer, the transfer from University of Hawaii. Boyle and Evan Boyle. What a cover from Evan Boyle after the block. And now Sheward working quick <laughs> in for Connor Campbell. A first swing and a first kill for him. He had the match clinching kill for the Anteaters in their last performance here at Lion Tree Arena. A three set win in the Anteaters' favor. Yeah, I'm going to call that a power tip, too. That was almost throwing it down. Off one block of Connor. That was Selcho the swing. And just finds a way to lodge it inside, nestles it through the block. Ilir Heno with the put away. Second in the nation in kills per set, Kirsten. 4.38 per frame. Yeah, and I think he's hitting 400 on the year, which is pretty impressive. I think he has a handful of errors, but not very many. Also impressive is the fact that he has hit double figures in kills in every match this year. So that's Darcy playing the role of setter to Heno. And he misfires on a try from off the net. Had a team high 12 kills in the last match for the Anteaters. A sweep against Concordia. As you said, over 400, yeah. 407 yeah, that's in that impressive. encounter. What do you think for the Tritons should be their philosophy with serving tonight? Well, if you ask me, I like to see um, getting it in, tough serve, but they've got to be, um, they've got to really pressure Ilya Heno, um, make him pass the ball. He does everything on the court, so if they can force him to pass as well, they might throw him off his game a little bit. Scherfan thrown off his game just a little bit on a misfire with that right side swing. 6'6 six, six junior in white for the Tridents from Los Angeles. The BYU transfer. And by the way, our officials are R1 John Pedersen. Patsy Malta is our down official for what is a big time Big West battle. And it's Josh Schellinger coming in. Started out the season as a reserve, and he has been a spark plug for Coach Rostratter and the Tritons. Yeah, definitely. He has come in and um, passes really well, but is also an offensive force on the left and behind the service line. The last meeting between these two in La Jolla, Tritons did not score more than 17 points in any one of the three games which they lost. That's Schellinger. Ooh, Finds nice a dig. big gap in that block. Heno <laughs> with a nasty rip from the backcourt. Just lays into one and cracks that for a second kill. You know, he is not only impressive in the front row, but he is just as lethal in the back row with his serve. 
and just being able to hit that big and be that offensive force just from just from standing. Didn't even take an approach on that. He also leads the nation in points per game. Anthony Scherfon has his second score. So he's got two. So does Heno. You've got the two yep. top point scorers mm -hmm. already starting to get in a groove. That's no surprise. Yeah, get in a groove, find the court. Um, anxious to see who, who pulls ahead. Josh Ellender coming up unsuccessful with that serve, coming into tonight. Seven service errors over his last two matches. And he went just three of 10 offensively on Wednesday in the win against Charleston. But it was what he did defensively. And I think that's what we're seeing from him a little bit more of an effect defensively as Laura has an answer. I love that shot. Finally, someone hitting line. Great shot by Laura. Seeing the court really well. That third swing from Laura. Just finding that back court. Open Flirt spot on the court. Flirtatious with the baseline, his first kill. And a free chance here for the Tritons into the middle against one blocker. That's Selcho. Back row look from Heno. And from Schellinger goes Laura. Yes. Dices up a triple block. He has been playing so well, 28 kills over his last two matches coming in. What's got him playing so well? You know, I had an opportunity to talk to him last night and uh, credits his setter, of course. He thinks that Gabe Dyer is a great setter and that's why he's hitting so well. But honestly, I think he's just getting in the groove. Did you say he was getting in a groove? <laughs> Off the overplay, he's there for the sledgehammer and the easy ad-lib put away three for him. He's got three kills, three of his first team's seven points he's responsible for. As Grigorev, middle blocker, six foot four, has an answer, had a season high 17 kills earlier this year against USC. Yeah, he's super effective in the middle can hit quick just about anywhere on the court. He also went 8 of 11 with no errors in the last meeting. Grigorov and the Anteaters against the Tritons. Opportunity offensively, inside out swing from Laura. Eno with a rip. The foot from Gabe Dyer could not get the job done after he had along that sideline, Scherfan. Yeah, and Heno just doing Heno things, seeing a little bit of a smaller block, hits line, gets a kill. This is the fifth season for our server, Akil Tangutur, grad student, all five years. There's the joust <laughs> and a little flex from Heno. 6-8, yep. and he wins that 50-50 ball. He does, and smart players know to push last in that joust, and that's exactly what Heno did. Boyle with a layout on the service reception. Sure fun to Schellinger, nice. high hands. And racks up the kill. Josh Schellinger having to be a little bit creative there. Ad lib work, and yeah. he's good being spontaneous. Yeah, and Sherfan doing a nice job stepping in, setting that ball. Good team communication, pushing it out and letting Schellinger take a whack at it. Seven kills, 20 swings for the Tritons. They're Ooh. hitting just over 250, and a sledgehammer <laughs> dealt out by Grigorev. He started this match serving and now after that put away, which happens to be his second, he's back at the service line. Yep, and that's what happens when blockers get faked out. It's open net by the quick hitter. You see Irvine, they're 10 and four overall. They're five and two on the road and a mirror of that as far as their record at home. Also five and two. Ducking out of the way is Laura. Ooh. That was close. And that marginally misses the baseline. And there it goes, our first challenge of oh. the match. And it's going to be Anteaters head coach David Nift Limbo. Oh, touch. And Patsy Malta says that challenge is going to be successful. So a good yeah. decision there for David Niffin. That takes away what would have been a 12 to 9 lead, now expands it to five. So a three point lead. Now heightened to five. There is Coach Niffin, hired in 2012. Was a player for the Anteaters. 
sure fun. Yes. Tools it off the block. A two-person block on the outside of Sheward and Campbell. Love when he's patient and uses the block. He jumps so high up at 12 feet. I think I said 11 feet the other night, but no, 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 12. <laughs> um, love it when he uses the block. And Darcy tried to avoid the block and then was hoping for a touch, lobbing for one, gesturing with his right hand to our first referee, John Patterson. He was not buying the plea. Tritons within three. 10 serving 13. They've won four in a row. They've won their last two oh. home matches. And Brett Sheward, smart play, who spent four seasons with Hawaii as a libero, played in three national championships as a grad student, one year left of eligibility. Yep. He gives a call to Coach Niffin. They've known each other since high school. Says, hey, can I play setter? He said, yeah. Sure, yeah, no, good volleyball IQ as well. Not a flashy shot setter, can run the offense and get the job done. Although I saw some style and pizzazz there from the change of pace from Anthony Scherf on his eighth swing. He's got five kills at a team I 16 kills on Wednesday in the four set win against Charleston, which happened to be a really close match. Three of the four yeah. sets in that one decided by two points and two sets had extra points. That one that was, was close extra in. to finish off the home and home. This is the second Big West match for the Tritons. They already have beaten UC Santa Barbara. They did that in four sets a week ago. And for the Anteaters, after the service there, there this is their inaugural Big West match. Both teams are going to be playing 10 league matches. Wow, that's a lot of matches. And a lot of them in close proximity as well. Here is the team leader for the Tritons and Kills, Anthony Scherfon. He is four of seven. A rocket launcher from the back. And then a mishandled pass. Mm. Sheward quick to Campbell, and he bludgeons it off the 6'9", Jim Garrison, the sophomore block, who leads his team in block solos, but not going to get one there. Yeah, got to be aggressive when um, you get an overpass like that. You need to be aggressive with that at the net. What can you do as a blocker there when you know that they're going to be aggressive? Um, well, if you get an overpass, you need to put it down and fast. I think there was a little indecision in the front row on the San Diego side, but somebody's got to take charge. When you know your um, server is going to rip their jumper, be ready for that overpass. Be ready for that over on one. So that's something that Jim Garrison needs to lead in the front row. Being the super vocal. And Connor Dom missing that latest serve. Native of San Diego, the redshirt junior for the Anteaters. Sheward goes back, and it's done by Scherfon after the Darcy shot. Opportunistic at the pin. That is the high flyer, the 6'4", six floor, six floor, Laura. Yeah, and great job by Laura. That nice, fast outside set. He is able to use the outside arm of Will Darcy on that. And the service here right there coming to the hands of Josh Schellinger, I mentioned this the last time he was in rotation to serve, has struggled with the service errors as of late. What would you tell him to sort of get him back on track? Focus on his toss. Um, I think that it's something that I think if you, if you have a good toss, go for it. If you don't, just get it in. Um, but that's what I would say. Darcy just got it in and more. He registers an ace, expands the lead to four. The Anteaters have been up by as many as five in this first set. Trides have never had a lead in the set. Jim Garrison tattoos that ball. Nice job by Garrison being available on that one. A little bit of a, I would call that a fly set off the net. Eight assists for Gabe Dyer. This is just his fourth match oh. playing. And for Schuer, that's assist number seven as he finds Grigorov, who has had a hot start. Very strong third kill and on three swings. Yeah, and he can hit quick from anywhere on the court. They have a really good setter hitter connection. You see Irvine number five in the nation. 
Picked to finish third in the conference yes. in the preseason poll. Peter Selcho thought he had a kill. Oh. And that one askew as he burns that one off the court after the, the centering set from Gabe Dyer. Yeah, that one everybody thought was in. Gabe Dyer felt good about it too. And and that was that was one of the stick sets. A little bit of a different route. Um, you know, great execution uh, by Selcho. It looks like how he got to such a <laughs> finite number there. We'll continue to track and see how the team does in the serve department as Tanga Tour after the timeout. Oh wow, what a great tick. And there goes the rainbow-looking free ball to the Triton. Sherfon claims it off of Darcy, who was left helpless in the back row. That's a fifth kill for Anthony Sherfon hitting 333. Yep, and nice job by Sherfon. Going at the meat at the court, not going too extreme line or angle. Well, here is Gabe Dyer. Back-to-back double-doubles coming in. 38 assists in each of the last two matches, and that's an assist in the form of number eight for Brett Sheward as Darcy scores. He's averaging just over two kills per set, and that would be his 49th kill on the season. One away from 50. Yeah, and nice to see him produce from the opposite position. A lack of producing from Grigor Ev, who went five of seven against Concordia, has had a service error in all 15 of the team matches this season. Laura Short to Heno from Campbell, and he scrapes the sky as he jackhammers it past Selcho at the net. I was warned that this was going to happen. A lot of throwdowns, tips, the set off the block. Got to just be ready for it, even though it doesn't look that pretty. Ooh. Pretty would be one way to describe that service ace from Brett Schuer, aesthetically pleasing. Yep, that was a nice spot on the court right between two passers. They got to work that out. Well, the second and final timeout is going to be used here for Brad Rostrad, the head coach. Has a kill. Ilir Heno has the most. He's four of eight. There is Sheward. Nine assists. He's got one dig and one service ace. The team in Irvine has three aces in this opening frame. Multiple <laughs> set points coming up after some issues in ball control yep, and a really key service run for Sheward here. Yeah, and that's what you do with an overpass. You get rid of it really quickly, exactly like Heno just did. They're going to have to wait a moment, bring out the mop, and Evan Boyle hit the deck. And so they're going to wipe off some of the sweat off the court. Sheward will reload from the service line with a lion's share of set points, looking to win their 10th straight set against UC San Diego. That's Sano high hands, Boyle skies it from Dyer to Schellinger, looking into zone five. Angatour was there. Transition shot denied. <laughs> and then off speed from Sherfan, only for Chase Campbell to be the architect of, excuse me, a hitting air. He thought he had a transition kill that would have cemented the opening set not to be. So Peter Selcho is going to try to chip away with a rather steep deficit that the Tritons have incurred on themselves. Sure, Tano denied! Broadsided by the block was Eno, who rarely sees his offense go backwards. Yeah, rarely, and great timing at the net by Schellinger and Garrison on that one. Just lined up perfectly against the lefty. Tritons have saved two set points. They serve at Heno. He'll get it back from Sheward. Laura does all he can to try and save it, but it's Heno with the put down. 
on a give and go. He's the one redeeming the chance of getting blocked and then answers with a kill on a third set point. 25 to 9, eight straight sets won by the number five team of the nation. Yeah, they're definitely in system and coming up with a ton of digs. Um, let's see. Twice as many as Twice the Twice as many, 14 digs for Irvine and seven for UC San Diego. So they're just getting, you know, more defensive plays on the ball. Cape Dyer to open up the second set from the service line, and he will quickly be removed from the service line. Maxim Grigorev, number 23 in blue. And he is hitting 1,000. Um, that's going to be four kills, four attempts for him. Well, let's go back to the last match. I brought this up in the first set. When he last played the Tritons here in La Jolla, he went 8 of 11, did not have a hitting air then. Yeah, so he matches impressive. up so well against the Anteaters. And as Selcho puts one down, his first kill on six swings, why do you think a talent like Grigorev matches well so offensively against the Triton block? Well, he's a small middle blocker, but he's super bouncy. He um, comes out of nowhere, and I think that his setter knows when to use him. Free ball coming over innocently to the Anteaters. Sheward linking up with Eno in a little dink shot as he flies that one over the top of the 6'4 junior. Anthony Scherfan, savvy play, cerebral move. Yeah, he really has all kinds of shots in his bag of tricks. That's a little nice waterfall shot over the block. Schellinger is getting the set from Dyer, an explosive swing, and he puts it down. Triton's able to tie it again from one all to two all. And for Gabe Dyer, he's up to 11 assists. He averages 9.09 .09 assists per frame. And that's a good job to, uh, by Dyer running that fast set to try to beat the block to the outside. Serve goes to Cole Power, the libero, and transfer from UCLA. And there is the, the sort of off-speed stuff that David yeah. Niffen, the, the head coach for the Anteaters, warned us about. Yeah, he said that they're going to throw all kinds of weird stuff at them, lots of tips, lots of roll shots. Um, you know, it's a good idea, especially when defenses get dug in um, for the hard driven. This is a man who's been clocked at serving over 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Wow. And that's what you do, a first ball side out. Architect of it was Anthony Scherfan as he got way in the air and answers right back. Our third tie in the second set. And that is a great way to echo what a nice pass that was by Laura, is to put that ball away. Laura has been upping his game in such a big way. What a serve from Scherfan. Campbell gets dug. It goes over the net, the pass from Boyle. And Campbell rips it through the block of Dyer and the 6'9", Jim Garrison. Campbell, a native of San Diego, yeah, so a bit San of a homecoming Diego. for the 6'7", senior who came into this match two airs in his last 73 swings. Yeah, and he definitely moves the ball around in the middle as well. Schellinger! Yes. Inside out, fans it using the, the width of the court yes. to his advantage. Full dimensions. And a nice tandem play with Garrison going up and drawing the block that allowed a little bit of gap um, for Schellinger to hit that one. Schellinger, another really tough serve, and that will be Darcy giving the Anteaters the lead again. After a 15th helper from Brett Sheward, Darcy serves at Boyle. Lore with the offhand, and he's not going to win that one at the net. The story behind Darcy, he's a sophomore, did not play in the two meetings against the Tritons last year. Mm -hmm. How did he get a hold of UCI? He sent out a blind email to Coach Niffen <laughs> and said, hey, I love your program. Can I play for you? <laughs> Coach Niffen said, let Good me take him. Yeah, and yeah. he said, as we see that the Tritons get Jim Garrison involved, he said, Coach Niffen said, all right, let me see some highlights. Yeah. And he said, it wasn't what he said, or it wasn't what he sh showed on the highlights as much as what he had heard about him from his peers. Nice. He said, we've got to bring him 
to Irvine. That's great. Everyone loves a, a someone that takes uh, the initiative that way. Take notes, young young high schoolers out there. If you want it, go out and get it. Don't wait for it. And they might want to take note of what Gregorov did right yeah. there. Nice five for five, I think. Slugs it from Sheward, goes inside the block of the 6-4 Peter Selcho. Dangatour, grad student, once a Big West freshman of this season, or part of the old freshman team, excuse me, with an ace, his sixth of the year. Yeah, he's done a nice job moving his serve around at cross court. This is the fifth straight match that he has started. And on a combo play, yes. look out below. It's Sebastian Laura who defies gravity as he dekes one past the block. Yeah, he and Challenger do really a really good job on that fast tandem play. Off the overpass, it's to Selcho. Dyer has options. Oh. <laughs> Eno does the Dikembe <laughs> Matumbo finger whack, but hold on. Oh, wait, what? Was there a net? Maybe. Oh, I think Niffin's going to challenge that. Challenge? He is going to challenge. He's going to ask him. Right. Did you net? Is it worth it? Yeah. You netted, both of you. <laughs> I saw it. I mean, sometimes as a blocker, you try to tell yourself you didn't net when you actually did. I may have done that a couple times. Um, but yeah, that was both of them in the net. But you know the story. Lying can only take you so far, Kirsten. Yeah. Jump float to Heno, and then Sheward will work it to Grigorov. Oh, and a masterful six. strike as he beats the block with a quick attack from Sheward on. 17th helper. He's gone with at least 30 helpers in every match this year. Well on target for that. Yeah, and that was definitely a float route that he just ran. A little bit of a stick set, so not right next to the setter. Definitely, uh, wow, nice serve too. Um, confused the block. Confusing the block is just what Anthony Scherfan did right there. What I've been so surprised about, Kirsten, is he's not going. I mean, sure, he has that unbridled power, mm -hmm. but he, I don't know if it's a crutch or not, but he's been infatuated with the tip. Yeah, he's uh, mixing that in, working on that on his game. Schellinger wiping it off the block of Campbell and sure Josh Schellinger, 6'5", sophomore, such a spark plug for this team. He hasn't had a hitting error. He's now five of nine. He has, you know, he is, uh, I like how aggressive he is at the net and does such a good job using that outside um, blocker. Getting to the high point, in sending it home is that man right there. Cracks a smile and a smirk after a score <laughs> from Sheward as he uses every bit of his vertical leap to his advantage. In the angle is Sheward. So that means power will have to set Heno. <laughs> Boyle the bump set. This one's tight. Sherfon wins the tussle at the net. A lot of people under the net on that. Yeah. I think Selcho was. I think Sherfan was. Luckily, no one's rolled an ankle. Nobody's rolled an ankle, but a center line violation will go against the Tritons. 11 serving nine. That's Sheward. And a back row look from Laura grazes the fingertips of Campbell. That's Darcy off oh. of Dyer, and Schellinger can't run it down. The speed and the pace and the venom off that cross-court attack from Darcy was a thing to behold. And I think that Shel Selcho got a little faked out on that one and wasn't able to close the block. That's Selcho just really long. Low set. Yeah. And he couldn't do much with it, as you nope. said. He almost sort of punched it a little bit. And yeah. with it was a good location. He just um, was a little bit uh, out. With the errant shot and a team's C2, that is some special stuff. 
Oh, I must have a 692. Yep, that's 692. Current set, you're right. Current set, 692. 513 for the entirety of the match. And here's a guy, speaking of air-free volleyball, yeah. Josh Schellinger has no blips with any attacks, and it's a kill number six. Nice. That is second highest on the team, two behind the leader in Sherfan, who is eight of 15. Yeah, that is exactly what, you're, what you want your outside hitter to produce for you. No errors and six kills. What a bounce back for Schellinger as we get the overplay here off the Selcho serve. And Sherfan unsuccessful at that time, the team's fourth hitting error. But Schellinger just two nights ago, 10 swings, mm -hmm. three hitting errors, yeah. three kills. He hit zero. Why is he playing so much better tonight compared to the opponent uh, he on made, Wednesday? Yeah, he made the adjustments he needed to make hitting. Um, I think they're setting him a little bit of a faster set. Um, I, th I just think he's hitting better. No surprise that Heno is hitting well. He's serving off speed stuff. And succinctly to the surface with the half speed orc from Anthony Scherfan. He is leading the match now in kills with nine. That's one more than Heno, who has the most on the anteaters. And you can tell that Scherfan and Dyer are trying to work that set out. Scherfan was talking to Dyer after that. I think he needs a little bit higher, but was still able to find a spot with that one. Tritons trying to get it to within two. That's power, the second contact. And there goes a free one coming over to the Tritons. What do they do? Oh, that's a great play. Who's been dynastic with his pin attacks tonight? Yes, that's seven kills for him. And, you know, with also a 6'10 blocker in his face, but had a late middle and was able to find that seam. Nice job by Schellinger. Tritons have not had a lead at all in the second set, and they never had a lead, even by one, in the first. Sure to oh. Campbell is going to extend yep. that lead as he helicopters high in the air and sends the windmill-like attempt to the surface Garrison, cleanly. Garrison fell for that one, jumped with the setter. So Campbell was able to get that uh, isolation he wanted in the front row. I think you got to let Schuler have that one because he hasn't dumped any balls so far. That he hasn't. Connor Dom. And he's back row. <laughs> that he is. Connor Dom in for Campbell. Serving away he is. Off the tape. Really good serve. Well controlled there from Dyer. And then Dom, who's coming in off the bench, just not really getting a feel for the rhythm of these points and D makes yeah. a, a blip there. Yeah, a good touch, but just not not one that's able to be transitioned. But when you haven't been playing a whole lot and then you instantly come back in and that's the first point coming at you like that, that's gotta be hard to adjust. It is, and yeah, that's the name of the game coming off the bench. Darcy rejected, they cover. Angator down the line, Scherfan had the play defensively. That's Laura. Coverage from Schellinger. Loads up, can't get it down. A bump set heading towards Tangator's way. Boil all over it, defending the shot. Oh, that's a great play. A filthy finish from Anthony Scherfan. First in the match to get to double digits in kills. He's got 10. And such a great time to set him to. You see Irvine is a little bit Array not really set up, and Trifan just hammers that one down. I think we got a foot oh, fault there on Schellinger, first of that kind of infraction that we've heard tonight. We had one tie at one all, two all, three all, four all. Then the timeout at 13 9 from Coach Rostrader here in the second, getting it to within one. Now back to a two point lead for the Anteaters, looking both of these teams for their fifth match win in a row. Both coming in with four match winning streaks. Grigorev oh. from Sheward, and he's petitioning for a touch, and John Pedersen, our R1 on the ladder, yeah, said, got that. I do oblige, I do approve of that, and it did happen. And that's 10 kills and 10 attempts, right, for Grigorov? Wow, that's pretty impressive. He's not quite there. He, he's at seven of seven. So I, 
You might be speaking something into existence as a foreshadowing. Oh, seven. Yeah. He's, Wrong stat. <laughs> he doesn't have any hitting errors, and the man who just put one down doesn't have any hitting errors. In Schellinger, he had the, the foot fault there, yeah. then makes up for things as he booms one through the block, and we are going to have a Brett Persley celebrity appearance in the match. Yeah, and he came in in the last... Uh, Match against Charleston and served an ace, so let's hope he can do that again. Tritons don't have a single ace tonight. Four from the Anteaters. Singling out Heno in serve receive. Ah. Angator has his shot quelled by the Tritons. As they pacify that attack from the grad student who on a fifth swing doesn't have a kill, and that's his first attacking error. And that is a nice triple block that was put up against him. Within one are the Tritons, and then the lead now expands to two. Off a sixth service error for UC San Diego. There are five teams in the Big West Conference in the top 18 in the country. Number 18, UC San Diego, oh. and they're showing like a national power with that kind of finish yes. with Laura. I really love that play. They're running that tandem really well with both Laura and Schellinger. So Grigorev late on the block on that one, jumping with the middle, reaching. Um, so a nice big hole in the block. Not a great pass from Hendo. He'll get the shot. Oh. And he goes right at Laura and then checks on him <laughs> after sending one with brute force right at him. Yep, that is a world-class arm swing. Um, on the left, lefty hitting. His IQ is off the charts. The last tie in this second set was at 9-all. And we're one away from it happening again. Where do you think Laura should put this serve? Uh, well, he's going to go at Heno because that's the game plan. Um, there just, he just try to make him tired, but he doesn't seem to be tired. <laughs> Um, if anything, he's tiring out the block. Yeah, he's tiring. He's t he's got so many shots. I don't think he's hit the same one twice. He'll do the short shot over the block, off the block. Stop! Hard By angle, hard line. That was his 10th kill. Selcho is popped up in zone six. Darcy saved by Heno, or excuse me, by Sherfan and shoveled over. There's Heno, <laughs> and he just deposits it. So debonair, so yep. nonchalant. Yep. Just another, just another shot on the court. I bet if you tracked everywhere he hit, it would be all over the court. Twenty-one serving, eighteen. What a oh. tough serve from Sheward. He forces Sherfan to make a play. <laughs> he just kind of like knifes at it. Yeah, and it. Is He's got a great touch on the ball. Yeah. Down to the floor. The touch. Tantalizing. Yes. And when he wants to, when he's done with his indoor career, uh, have, he will have a very good beach career if he wants with all those shots that he's passing well. You're not really getting in his head at all. He's 12 of 19 with two hitting errors, hitting 526. That's Schellinger. And he gets one off the block. A smooth shot. He meets Sherfan both with 12. Make it 10 kills for the Tritons. Peter Selcho hitting in the negative offensively, although a lot of that not necessarily his fault. Some of the sets have been a little bit low. Hanno again singled out in serve receive. Campbell rocks back. Pinballed around by the shins and the feet of a pair of Tritons, and they can't come up with a return. From Gabe Dyer in what he's doing right now, how would you describe 
what he is trying to accomplish out there and what he can do differently as a setter to help the middles get established yeah, better. Yeah, I think, I think that he's doing a great job setting that fast outside set to the outsides. But I think that he's, you know, he's struggling connecting with his middles. Um, I, I'm not sure if that's something that can be fixed in this match. Um, obviously, a good pass helps with that. Um, were we trying to call that out? That was definitely in. Um, but I think it's something, just communication with his middles, um, giving him maybe a little more height, um, in my opinion. Um, you know, I know he's just getting back into, this is his third match? Fourth match. Fourth. What he found to be a touch off a serve that initially was called not a touch. So that's a big swing here mm -hmm. because now you've got chances to close out the second set. Yeah. And it's your best server for the Anteaters at the line goes at Sherfan. And oh, got it down. <laughs> Pancake try after the fact from Gabe Dyer. So Heno with kills to end the first set and the second set. And he has been. They'll just try to run some um, different schemes. I don't know, maybe different sets. I, I think they're, you know, they're pretty much, uh, you know what, I think maybe their middle has been late a little bit um, to the outside set because uh, San Diego is running that quick outside set and, and Schellinger and Laura have been pretty um, effective out there. So maybe their middle's um, closing that block. Yeah, Schellinger has been so effective. 11 of 17 gets the kill right there. The first kill and the first attack in the third set for the Tritons, not to the middles, which have struggled to really get comfortable with their attacks. There's a middle playing the role of setter to Scherfan. Over to Cole Power. I think that was one, <laughs> one of Gregorov's hits that did not go down. Still worked yeah, as a kill. Still worked on the second attempt. 26 swings in the second set for the Anteaters and one air. Yeah. Just about That's blemish free. That's Schellinger looking for a 12th kill. It's not going to come as he goes blazing speed over the top of the block and misses the block. Yeah, and that one he should have hit line on. He's got a little bit of a smaller blocker with Schuler out there. I think he was probably trying to go high hands, um, but the line is your friend with a small blocker. Boyle does a really good job with how much firepower was on the serve, the block, and the coverage from Dyer. Sure fun. The swift touch says it's out. Patsy Malta shakes her head. She was right there mm -hmm. in close proximity to try and make the call, our down official. Yeah, I think they're going to challenge it. You know, good way to break up some momentum, too. Could you see it going the other way? Brad Rostrader is 0 for 1 in challenges. His friend slash coaching nemesis on the <laughs> other side in Niffin is 2 for 3 in converting oh, on challenges yeah. tonight. Coaches get stats too. <laughs> yes. Boyle the reception, that is sure fun. Goes with the roll <laughs> shots. Everything is going to the pins offensively. Yeah. It's is, it, at some point, Kirsten, does that get predictable? Yes. So how do you get the middles established? Because that seems to be really the telltale sign of whether this team can take a lead in a set or not. Well, it's something that I feel like uh, the Tritons need to work on. It's just getting their middles more active. But right now, um, if their pins are killing the ball, <laughs> then um, you don't need to set your middles. But, um, you know, I think we're seeing Irvine do a wonderful job distributing the ball to all their players. Yes, Heno has 14 kills, but th the middles have 15 kills together. It's Garrison trying to get a kill, ensured with the defense on the shot. Dyer cross court set for Schellinger. That is his 20th swing. Heno down the <laughs> line. Scherfan had a beat on it, and we play on. Uh, Schellinger. Gets
gets the put down after some issues, some mistakes in ball control from the UCLA transfer, Cole Power. Yep, there goes that set over the net. Good job by Schellinger shuttling it over, and no one was there for that second ball, that Cole Power dug. Stutters at the service line, and still to this stage, and Triton's lost the first two sets by the same tally, 25 to 19, 25 to 19. Ilya Heno with yeah. the set clinching kill in sets one and two as he serves now. But the Tritons don't have a single ace no, into the third I, frame. I don't, I think that I would rethink that serving strategy. D ball to Sherfon. Dyer, the coverage that flies over the net on one. On a sixth wing, Tour finally gets a kill. Trying to work himself out of negative numbers and does just that, now hitting zero. Elir Heno had over 80 aces last season. First team, ABCA All-America a season ago had a nine ace match against Penn State. And he's going in Man. with aces right now. And even, that was just a, you know, off speed serve. It's hard to really detect how to deal with yeah. those serves. He can go, as you said, Kirsten, yep. 70 miles per hour plus, or he can dial it down and beat you with Finesse. A uh, timeout here early on called by Coach Rory. Our server, Ilir Heno, having a banner night. 14 kills, 22 swings. And as I say that, he comes up with a mistake. A rare one at that. Of course it is. I, tr I tried to video him. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got nervous. Since the first set, the Anteaters have only one hitting error. You take that stat and you say, now you see why the match is where it is. Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely not a lot of service pressure from the Tritons tonight. You know, like we said, their strategy was to go after Heno. I don't think it's working, but this serves all around. A fifth miss serve, that one from Campbell. Connor Campbell, two matches against UC San Diego last year, had 10 kills combined with 17 swings. Reception from Heno. This is Darcy, the sophomore swinging. Laura beats the block. Sherfan walks back and tries to rejuvenate this offense as they have closed it to two, the gap. And that's what you do with an overpass. You end it quickly. Nice job by Cherfan being ready in the front row, putting that ball away. Sheward quick to Grigorev. He's looking oh, for a first touch. First error. And that's the first error since the yeah. first set. Yeah, wow. Proficiency with the attack, and it continues on, this time with Darcy answering on the right side. Darcy has five kills. And he's wearing number, number five. five. Good for him. He's got a nice jump serve, too. Goes at Boyle, that's sure oh. fun. A little stare down, you saw, <laughs> tilt to the head, and maybe winked at the opposition on the other side of the net as he bests the block. Yep, going for the meat of the court. I like that hit. Jump float from Laura. Grigorev gets blocked by Selcho and Sherfan. Grigorev just got that one in. It wasn't close, or it was close to missing wide. And that's the difference. We see the middles getting established, Kirsten, yeah. much more than the Tritons tonight. Yep, they just, you know, Schuler does a good job moving that ball around, finding his middles. Tour moves that ball around, but lost it in the stratosphere. 
Anteaters have a lead that's at one. They have never trailed in any one of now the third frame. Never had a, a deficit in any one of the games. Selcho, hard serve to Heno. D ball to Darcy. Tagator, a tight set, and Heno so smart. gets crafty and betters the ball. Betters every ball. I mean, he rarely makes errors and just knows what to do with whatever he's given. The offering from Gregorov, and I think one of the things that is keeping UC San Diego in this third set have been the Anteaters proclivity, and that's a big word for me, by okay, the way. Okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm I won't look it up, I'll I, just trust yeah, you with it. For okay. more service errors yeah. in the third. You think they're over 18% now? Probably. I think so too. I think they're about 25. For those of us <laughs> who are just tuning in, Coach Niffin told us he gauged that his team would miss just 18% of their serves. Oh, that's Zerfond a nice dug by Power, And I believe Seward went in the net. Yeah, yeah so that's going to be a tie here. Things all square at 11. It nice, is. Nice defense by Cole Power, though. It is, and it's our first tie in this third set since one all, which has some trepidation starting to... And doesn't bat an eye. He is an unsung hero for yeah. this team. Was part of the Big West All-Freshman team a season ago. Here's Anthony Scherfan out of the timeout and getting greedy as he overloads the serve and booms it long. There is Sheward. Going at Laura, and on a combo play, Schellinger. Oh my goodness, saved by Heno. Oh. The dump doesn't pan out. The first time in the match, either one of the setters has gone with that strategy, and it backfires. Yep. And frustration festering within the junior setter. Rejection, atoning <laughs> for his offensive sins. A point thereafter as Dyer gets the block. And Gabe felt like he needed to redeem himself after missing that dump. And that is his first solo block on the season. Nice. After a mishap with the on two play. <laughs> no mishap coming from Heno. Illuminating with a short angle, potent put away. Yep, Sheward knows exactly how to feed him on the left, or feed his left hand on the right side. He's a master tactician and craftsman from an offensive standpoint, is Heno. Back row for Schellinger, grazes the top of the block and out of reach for the libero, the grad student in Cole Powers. Yep, nice choice by Gabe Dyer to mix it up a little bit, set the back row, throw something different at the Anteater defense. Bravednikov in for the first time, serving one point, and then heading back to the bench. Leo Bravednikov, just the sixth match that he has played Another sub coming in for serving responsibilities. This is Connor Dom. His older brother Doug was a member of the Anteater volleyball team from 2020 to 2023. Laura in the cross court. Dom with the play defensively. Good scoop from Scherfan. Roll shot from Schellinger. Dom runs in there and gets all turned around and things go awry after his touch. What should he, have he had done there? Challenger? No, on uh, Dom. Dom, I think The way that he played that, the way he went to that ball. Well, 
technically, I, I think that that was maybe Heno's ball, but uh, they just need to talk. Communication, defense. The connection oh, was nice. good, but an up from Dyer. Block from Laura. Dengator falling away. And Sherfon made yeah. contact with the net. But that was a good read by UC San Diego by Laura, knowing that the shot is coming. So the off blocker get off and get ready for that funky stuff. And Eaters have won the last two matches by sweeps. They're looking for a third straight. They have won nine straight sets. And if they are able to pull this out in a sweep, the Anteaters, it would be their fourth win this season by way of a sweep. They've also beaten in three sets St. Francis, McKendry, and Concordia. Darcy demolishes that ball. Six of 14 flexing after setting a fastball that won't be returned. Yeah, that was a nice high, hard 6-10 hit there. I think that was probably over the block on that one. Tangatour serves at Laura. A back one for Sherfon. Sheward plays it off the net, and a free ball comes over. Back to Sancho. Uh. <laughs> Wasn't the greatest pass, no. but a tremendous put away given the situation. And a great set by Gabe Dyer, too. One-handed set. Didn't, couldn't really do much else, but um, Shelcho was ready for that one. Nice, nice kill by him. A one-handed set by Dyer and Shelcho. Brett Persley putting misses. That one away. So you've had a couple of serving subs in for UC San Diego, and they're missing. Persley right there did so, and Pravednikov, when he got a chance at the service line, he also was unsuccessful. There's been one tie in this third set, and it was at one all. Dyer looking nice. for Schellinger. And a fly swat and a line swing. And smart hit by Schellinger using that line. Right outside that smaller blocker. And with that kill, he's got a new season high. 16 now on the year. Heno. <sighs> Got it down oh, as Boyle yeah. and Sherfon froze and indecision nixes the hopes of the Tritons. Yep, and Heno crafted that in his brain before he did it. Like, I'm going to shoot it right here where they're going to indecisively not play it. So smart. Dyer looking for Laura. Uh, gobbled up with a solo stuff. Stifling the shot from Laura is Campbell. And that for him is a third block solo on the season and his first since late January against BYU. And that's great patient timing by Campbell on that one. Not getting faked out. Linking up with Schellinger. That seems to be the scorable option that's working out at a high percentage. Yeah, I feel like he and Gabe Dyer are connecting really well. That fast outside set, Challenger is just crushing it. And Eaters won the first two sets. Same score, 25 to 19. Elir Heno with the set clinching kill in both the end of the first and the end of the second. That's off the tape from Darcy. And it's going to go wide, his second hitting here. And the team's eighth. They've got a third here in the third. And it's one point differential once again. But what is stopping the Tritons from tying and then say taking a lead? I think it's consistent offense. Um, and picking up on defense, making some defensive plays and stopping Ilir Hanno. Now the block was encircling the shot of Hanno in an out of sorts, out of system swing as he blasts it off the block. Just very nonchalant. Very nonchalant. But he is that safety. That's and impressive. An earth scorching almost 600 hitting wow. percentage. Two errors. 18 kills, two errors. Two errors. Responsible for 19 and a half points. 
And if you add a half to that, you've got the jersey number of him, and he's at the service line. And Eaters with a total of five aces tonight. Triton's not a single one. What an up from Boyle to Laura. Smart play by Laura. And there goes, yep, the green card coming from Niffin. He thought that ball was down. He did. He mm. thought the ball was down. Boyle was seen getting the shot up into the air. Hmm. But we are going to look at this again. Well, he is. He, oh. it's, that's a tough one. Patsy Malta has made up her mind, informing those on the scorer's table what she determines to be the call. Oh, ball's down. And she said it was. Yeah, if there's any part of the on ball the on the ground when he touched it, it's down. So, so that goes from being a one-point lead to a three-point lead, oh, ballooning. Yeah. yeah, that's a big momentum shift there. At a very apropos moment in the third, and you've got Heno at the line and the, and the Tritons of all match. One of the stories here, getting him to side out has been no easy task. Sure fun off speed coverage from Garrison. Laura, high hands up from power. And now Heno oh. looking for kill number 19. Followed up by Tangator, <laughs> rips into that one. And it glances off the defense of the back row defender in Evan Boyle. I think that Heno likes hitting uh, from the back row almost better than the front row. And why do you think that is? Is Matt I don't Lim know. I think in. maybe he has the ability to see more of the court. I don't know. What do you think that this does in bringing Lim in for Sherfon at this stage in the third set? Uh, maybe pass the ball. <laughs> a trivial serve, but the Tritons come up with a response. Campbell outsmarts the block. And a point away from three straight sets with the Anteaters winning 25-19. And interesting to see if Heno really decides to rip this serve or what he's doing is working with this off-speed jumper. First match point has crystallized. Dyer to Schellinger off of power. Tangatour with a bump set. Defending the roll shot is Lim. Laura falling away. Miss hits it. A 14th hitting error for the Tritons happens to be the one that ends the match. A sweep. It's three straight sweeps for UC Irvine. They've won 11 straight sets. And for the fourth straight time in a matchup against the Tritons,